Wind bombs are arguably the most famous technique in Breath of the Wild, to let you travel massive distances quickly and with style. But just how many ways are there to wind bomb? We've covered several of these in our 33 Ways to Fly video, but you'd be surprised at just how many more versions and combinations of this trick have been created over the years. But first, let's quickly recap on what a wind bomb is. Remote bombs are not just one explosion, there's two, the wind box and the damaging explosion. The invisible wind box comes out faster than the explosion, so when timed and spaced right, objects will get hit by the wind box first before the explosion and send objects flying. In case of a wind bomb, the wind box hits the second bomb before the explosion, knocking into Link, and the force is multiplied when exiting bullet time, causing a huge launch. So how many ways are there to do this? The basic front hop wind bomb is the most common one to date, triggered by simply jumping over a cliff edge or high ground. The basic rule is you usually drop the round bomb first, then the square bomb for consistency, but you can change this order for a different angled launch. A key part of wind bombing is to place the bombs in a line to strike Link, and to do this during bullet time. But you can also use perfect parries instead of bullet time to make this work as well. You can perform Daruk's front hop wind bomb by jumping and dropping the bombs as normal, but using Daruk's protection to parry at the exact same time. And you can wind bomb yourself using the power of Daruk's parry slowdown. If you want to head more upwards though, the vertical wind bomb is the way to go. By placing the square bomb and backflipping and dropping the round bomb below yourself, you can knock yourself sky high. This can also be done in a very difficult way again using Daruk's protection. By firing a bomb arrow, drawing your sword, backflipping, then perfect parrying the explosion, this gives Link an angle to launch straight up into the air. Turn wind bombing pivots Link's body angle slightly before getting struck by the bomb. While it has many outcomes in terms of speed and distance, it generally shoots him at a more downward angle, as opposed to a more normal launch which favors height. Aiming wind bomb has the same goal as a turn wind bombs, to change the angle of your launch to be more horizontal. But because the game can have trouble with wind bombs with lots of clutter on your screen to load, such as a forest, aiming at the dirt or sky can reduce objects loaded and make the wind bomb more successful. Delayed wind bombs are a common practice for changing the angles and speeds of your wind bombs as well, such as a delayed turn wind bomb or delayed aiming wind bomb to mix and match for specific speeds and distances. Mid-air wind bombs can also be performed in several ways. One way is to drop one below you and another quickly behind to line them up for a nice mid-flight launch. The other way is to be gliding at full speed and line them up horizontally. This linear mid-air wind bomb will give you a nice flat angle forwards. Spider wind bombs are simply wind bombs starting from jumping off a wall. Same concept as any other normal wind bomb, just using a little upper body strength first before going for a quick flight. Remote bombs are not the only thing that have wind boxes. Bomb arrows or any explosion can launch Link just as easily. This can also be done on flat ground combined with the shield block reset as well. Backflip wind bombs are one of the most consistent ways to perform a wind bomb. Just place the square bomb, hop forwards twice towards a ledge, then backflip, then summon your second bomb and explode your farthest bomb. Easy. Horses and master cycles have a special dismount animation and can be used to wind bomb directly off your mount. If there's a nice ledge to jump off of, you don't necessarily need to set yourself up for a wind bomb. You can run or walk wind bomb right off the edge depending on your timing, and these both have different angles and speeds. A nice wind bomb setup is to shield jump off a rising cryonis block, remove the shield, then wind bomb as normal. Extra style points. Now I'll bullet hose a couple special ones that are based all on getting bullet time on open ground. These include updraft wind bombs, jelly bounce wind bombs, shield block reset wind bombs, and shield jump cancel wind bombs. All these require pretty precise timing and can be extra tricky to pull off. What's your favorite type of wind bomb? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoy Breath of the Wild still, stick around, because we still make videos to this day. For everything else gaming, keep it here on GameSpot.